Just how high are the expectations for Oracle given that big run we've seen already this year? You know, it's very interesting. Um, Oracle is a name that investors didn't love, frankly, until uh, relatively recently. Many people bought it because of the safety it supplied, the downside risk protection if there was a uh, economic slowdown or it got worse, because Oracle's clients are historically the biggest companies and the most critical workloads. AI and OCI have become a bigger part of the story over the last year or less. Um, but while people are talking about it, and management is talking about AI and the opportunity, in our conversations with clients, in our reviewing of the numbers and the rest, the street isn't modeling meaningful revenue numbers from AI at this point. And I don't believe the investors are yet at the point where they're going, wow, this is gonna be huge for the company. They see the opportunity, they're getting interested in the name, but you know, I think the setup is quite good for the earnings tonight. So Mark, if, if this is the scenario where Oracle is obviously a mega cap technology stock and has been a big part of the tech scene for, for decades now at this point, is Oracle due to become more like the Microsoft story in its emergence over the, uh, the last several years? Or is it due to be more like the IBM story where it's a bit, bit of a slower growth story, more steadier and maybe not as, as exciting for some investors out there? Uh, it, it, great question. Uh, we wrote a note uh, a couple months ago in which we compared Oracle today of Microsoft in, in 2015, 2016, and there's a lot of similarities. There are also a lot of differences, but there are a lot of similarities. At this point, no one expects Oracle to accelerate to the level of growth that um, that we are seeing at Microsoft. On the other hand, as I said, there's a lot of similarities in here. And so, um, you know, while the cloud is gonna grow 28 to 30%, the overall revenue expectations are still in the single digits. Um, I believe next year it accelerates into the double digits. Um, so I'm above the street in those expectations. Um, and I think that can continue in terms of it. But the street's not yet at the point they were at Microsoft or for Microsoft today. But I do think there's a lot of similarities to Microsoft. And this could be another engine that just keeps driving up. Mark, before we let you go, artificial intelligence, AI, has been a huge part of the story for many companies out there, including Oracle. With regard to what Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, those letters are going to be so prominent for many investors after the closing bell today, how big of a driver can AI be for that cloud infrastructure unit over at Oracle? Well, Oracle's OCI is, is relatively small compared to Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. They're a much smaller number four. Um, and therefore, if they have meeting success, success, excuse me, success with AI, it could have an amplified effect on the OCI numbers. Look, Microsoft today is the only one who's yet said AI is this big. They said it was 1% of uh, Azure revenue last quarter, they're guiding to 2% this coming quarter. Oracle could do something similar, and in fact could talk with a bigger number. It could be a bigger percentage of the OCI revenue, again, because OCI is still relatively small. Um, but I think the setup is really good that if Oracle sets up and starts discussing real numbers or percentages or even intimating in that direction, the stock's moving up from here.